Robbie Mines. Now away from AKT decides, away from the politics, and now to an interesting topic, robots, technology. A lot of people have said these robots are going to dominate things. And if you're a lover of sci-fi, you can only imagine what this world will be like in 100 years, two years. But there's real fear among people, among workers, that jobs will be replaced by machines. But to discuss this topic with me, I have two techpreneurs. I have with me Jide Ayegusi. Jide, welcome to Robin Minds. Thank you, Isabella. I also have Damilare Ogunleye. Damilare, welcome to Robin Minds. Thank you, Isabella. You're both techpreneurs. Yeah. Now, do you feel, being a techpreneur, that your work is going to put people out of jobs? Like, or are you already seeing that? Like, are these machines here to help us, or are they here to maybe kill us, quote and unquote? Yeah, uh, for me, I really don't think that um, machines, um, robotics, or AI, as, as the case may be, um, are here to displace uh, humans of their jobs. Um, you, you ask yourself where. Um, and, and in advanced world where you have um, technology at the highest level, let's say uh, US, where um, technology is you know, um, almost at every corner, uh, UK, um, France, and all of all of those places, um, you see that unemployment rates in those countries are very low. Uh, take for instance in US, unemployment rate is four percent. The same thing in UK, four percent. I think France, five point eight percent. Um, in Germany, 3.5%. These are places where technology is at the highest level. And here in Nigeria, we have not even started uh, scratching the surface, but unemployment is very high. You're talking about 80%. So if technology, AI, robotics, or whatever that you call it, are really, are really displacing people of their jobs, then in those countries, unemployment rate should be really high. Um, I really don't believe that technology is highly um, sending people out of jobs. Rather, technology is helping us um, um, solve a lot of problems that we face as humans. Damn Larry. Well, well, I would take a divergent view from that, um, being that um, McKinsey recently reported in their future work that by 2030, 800 million jobs will be lost to robots. To, to robots. And what that tells you is that um, most of those jobs, particularly um, in the continent of Africa, most of those jobs, job losses will come from this continent. But what would happen in the instance, why, why I don't agree with that jobs, um, robots or AI would displace people totally, is that there will be requirements for new skill sets, right? Sure. So it would necessarily not take people out of jobs. We will get more efficient, we will get better at doing things. But with the skill sets we sometimes currently have on most of the continent, people, the real fear is there that people will lose jobs. Sure. Um, and people need to adapt to new skill sets, which I, I, I don't know if we're preparing enough for that. Okay, so how can employees actually prepare themselves to this new way of work or this new world of work where technology sits side by side with human capabilities? Yes, yeah, so we're talking about um, learning um, 21st century skills, like you rightly mentioned, um, the world of work is changing and it means that um, people must also change you know, along, along with that. We're talking about um, um, collaboration, we're talking about uh, critical thinking skills, we're talking about um, you know, problem solving skills, communication skills. These are skills that um, any, every uh, forward thinking um, employee or potential employee should go learn so that they will be relevant in the, in the, in the world of work. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at a practical example, like the financial sector. We have ATMs now. Now, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, you'd have to queue by the bank. There's a bank teller that will give you the money. But now you just ATM or you use mobile banking. That's a clear case of jobs being replaced by humans. What would be your reaction to that? Um, again, it goes back to the very first point I made. I even think that that's, that's, that's so ancient. Mm -hmm. um, with, with, um, I, I was last year on a program, and when you see what is happening in the eastern part of the world, in Asia, we have not even scratched the surface um, mm -hmm. when it comes to the role of, of, of AI or the role of robots or the role of technology in financial services. So yes, we can't overflow the fact that there will be clear displacement of people from, from, from current um, roles. But what we then need to know is that even though there are jobs being displaced, what is becoming more evident is that AI is also creating more jobs. Yeah. There are jobs being created, right? So it's that, well, are we preparing people as fast as the jobs are being created? Are we preparing people with the right skill sets to take on those jobs? That's, that's the big goal. That's the big question. And what's your answer to that big question? Are we preparing people? I, I would say that... I, Here I, in Nigeria. I, I would say that um, I don't think so. I don't think I don't think that I think that we are we, st we are, we are at a, an opportunity to leapfrog, but we are not preparing. We are not doing enough of what we should be doing to take advantage of of technologies that allow us to leapfrog. 
So we're not doing it. I would think that one major place where, where it's evident that we're not doing well is our curricula, right? Um, people still learn stuff that I used to learn years ago. Those things have become very obsolete. So our curricula, our educational curricula still reflects that we're not preparing people for the place that they should be preparing. Even the way we go around governance, the way we go around those certain issues, it, it's clearly evident that we're not preparing people. And I worry that uh, um, of all the continents that is advancing into this fourth industrial revolution, Africa is the least prepared and might be the biggest um, bronze bearer um, of, of this cross. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think the onus is also on um, the people themselves. Um, sometimes we talk about we're not preparing people enough. Um, we should be preparing who? Um, we cannot leave everything, everything to government alone. I think um, the onus is also on the individuals who are trying to do one or two things for, the, for themselves to so also prepare themselves. Uh, and nobody's going to prepare you for anything if you're not preparing yourself. Like Yoruba, you uh, says that um, the ch child that, that raises his or her hand is the child that the parent, the parent, the parent will, will carry. So uh, we also need to prepare ourselves as individuals, um, both um, as entrepreneurs and also as employees. Yeah. Okay, so techpreneurship, that's a marriage between technology and entrepreneurship. In a country like Nigeria, or even the continent of Africa, how ready are we for techpreneurs? Is this, are you guys a bit early before the time? Like abroad, you have Silicon Valley, you have techpreneurs raising millions of dollars in seed funding. Your experience in Nigeria, are you a bit too early or you're just on time? Well, um, I think techpreneurship is one of those words or those um, um, coinage that people have often abused and it's because it's not the fault it's also mm -hmm. because of series like Silicon Valley that have glorified or made yeah. the whole concept of tech tech entrepreneurship very glamorous but for us the, what you find with tech what, what simple tech techpreneurship is just taking advantage of technology to solve problems in a commercial way right mm -hmm. so we have uh, abundant mm -hmm. problems to solve on the continent or in the country um, and technology is right here, even though we don't develop some of those technologies, but the technology to, to solve some of those problems we have is right there. And a few of us are the ones who are the vanguard of trying to solve some of the problems that are evident, leveraging technology. So are we too early? No. Technology is abundant. It's abundant. It's a resource that is abundant. Um, do we have problems that can be commercialized? Abundantly, yes. We also have those problems. So we are not, we are not too early. On the second issue of funding, as is that we sometimes will find ourselves that we come late to the party, it's also the fact that we've not been able to um, attract as much funding as the rest of the world. But I think it's something that is gradually improving. Um, tech Points recently re re released a report that the amount even st startups, tech startups in Nigeria raised in just the first quarter dwarfs what they raised the entire 2017. Right? So it shows, it, we might not be there yet, but it definitely shows progress and it shows growth and it should be very well encouraged.